Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Chuckles here, and today I've got 16 tips for you that I think will help you improve your Crucible game. I want to go through and talk about these tips why I commentate over a 45 kill game on Rusted Lands. So number one guys, when you die, don't feel angry or try to take revenge. When you respawn, just go destroy the enemy team. Whether you got teabag, whether they killed you with a shotgun, a thorn, whatever it is, just forget about it. Number two, relates to number one. Stay calm and learn while you play. Every single thing you do, learn from that. Whether you killed somebody or whether you got killed, learn what worked for you and learn what doesn't work for you. Number three is really crucial. Positioning. If you find yourself waiting for the enemy team, you're in the wrong spot. Go find the enemy and kill them. Don't just sit around and camp. There's one thing to camp, it's another thing to hover around a certain area. Camping in one specific spot will never do anything good for you. However, hovering around a certain area and finding multiple positions to see the enemy is going to be very beneficial for you. Which relates to number four, vantage areas. Even if you're in a vantage point, if you find no one is running through the high traffic area, then you're wasting your time. And wasted time, guys, is wasted points and wasted kills. You're actually detrimenting your team instead of actually helping them, even if you're not dying often. Number five is planning. Constantly think of what you plan to do over the next 10 through 15 seconds. Then ask yourself, what are the enemy's intentions right now? How will I stop them? How am I going to do it? And what will this accomplish for me and my team? Six, goals. Every 10 second goal helps you achieve the big goals. What are these big goals? Well, how did you perform as an individual? Were you happy with your performance? Did you learn something that gameplay or this game? Did something work for you? What didn't work? Now, how did you help your team be successful in this match? Use your senses. Number seven. Using your vision and your hearing is crucial. Pay attention to your radar. I can't stretch your radar enough. It's huge. I literally check it every single second or two. It's really important. Pay attention to your surroundings, your teammates, objectives being captured, being taken, or objectives that are about to spawn. This includes all ammo types, control points, and vantage areas. Combat. So most combat in Destiny is extremely fast-paced. Don't ever hesitate. If you see somebody, shoot them right in the face. Do not hesitate whatsoever. Just keep firing your gun until they're dead. So, for number 9, guys, information. The key to winning is knowing your information and knowledge is power. That's, you'll hear that often. Watch the minimap constantly. Like I said, like I can't stretch that enough. That is the number one thing that will help you improve in the Crucible. If you watch that minimap and just pay attention to it, check that more than literally probably your surroundings itself. It will give you so much information. Um, also, look, listen for supers. You'll hear a lot of supers being used, and some are predictable. Just listen for that. Check your game clock constantly so you know when the ammo is going to spawn, and then obviously know where it's going to spawn. And be ready to contest any objective in the game, whether it's ammo, whether it's control point, or even just a vantage area, guys. Heavy ammo available. Lost. All right, so for number 10, gunplay. There's a few different things about gunplay. So the biggest thing is work on your hand-eye mind coordination. All three of these play a huge factor in your gunplay. Always be ready for a fight. Don't run into an area just blind. Make sure you're constantly readying your weapon right before you see the enemy. And shoot where their head will be, not where it's at currently. If somebody's hiding behind a pole, shoot where their head's going to be when they strafe out behind that pole. As fire a gun literally before you see the enemy, and more often than not, if they're popping out to try and fight you back, they're going to walk right into the bullet, and you're going to start that fight with a huge advantage. So always know where your enemy's going to be and read their movements. Number 12, relating to number 11, use the environment, guys. Use your line of sight to your advantage. There's so many obstacles and structures in this game. As you can see, this building right here is a great example. This wall, everything is, in the is a structure, and you can use these to your advantage, whether it's hiding behind them, strafing, crouching, etc. So just make sure it's really hard for people to duel with you by using these to your advantage. Teammates, guys. Do not ever stand in front or directly behind a teammate. Standing side by side is okay, but if you stand directly in front of somebody or behind somebody, whoever is in the back is completely useless. The reason for this is, you cannot shoot through your own teammate. If you have a sniper, a gun, or whatever it is that you're using, no matter what it is, you can't shoot through your teammate. The guy in the back is useless. But if the enemy team has a sniper rifle, they can easily shoot through the first person and kill both the person in front and in back. So make sure you guys aren't ever doing that. Engagements, guys. These are crucial. If you're constantly having fair engagements, it's because you didn't plan well enough. People are like, what, isn't that cheating? No, it's not. Use grenades, use supers, use choke points. Bring the enemy's health down before you even see them. Like I said earlier, fire the gun before they actually even pop their head out. That way you're shooting them before they actually see you. Get the advantage whenever you can and take that advantage and push it farther and farther. Don't ever let up. Man, that throwing knife really hurt. That was a beautiful throwing knife. Number 15, guys. Early leads. I, this is like the number one thing for me. I had to learn and capitalize on. The more points and kills you get early on, the better 
95% of the time, the better you're going to do for the entire match. Every time I get an early lead, I almost, almost always dominate for the rest of the game. Reason for this is you get your super really fast. It helps you gain control of the heavy ammo and the zones. You gain superior positioning on the map, and you basically can control whatever areas you want to, even if your team isn't doing well. But because you have your super early on, that just puts the pressure on the enemy team. and basically have to make them sit back. They know that you're pushing super hard and have their super, or have your super before they have theirs. So there's nothing they can really do as long as you continue to push your lead early. If you can get your super at least once, if not twice before heavy, you're in a very, very good position. Opportunities, guys. Number 16. Create opportunities for yourself. Unless you're talking to your team, no one ever knows what your plans are. So you have to be the one to make the right decision. Flank the enemy team while your teammates are distracting them. That's a great example. Just take every opportunity that you can get and capitalize on it. And again, do not ever let up. Just keep pushing your advantage over and over and over. The game's not over until Shax goes through and announces whatever he announces when the game's over. Uh, great job, Guardians, or destroy your team. Whatever it is he announces. Anyways, the game's not over until you see the scoreboard pop up. So pretty much to sum up this video, guys, the Crucible is about learning, adapting, map movement, gunplay, and strategies. So really learn all of those and capitalize on those, and you guys will really improve in the Crucible. I hope these tips helped you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay. If you guys could leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys could comment, subscribe, that'd be awesome. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're all having an awesome day, and until next time. Zone A lost. Enemy captured Zone A. Five minutes remaining. Zone B secure. Zone C lost. <laughs> Enemy captured Zone C. Zone A neutralized. Zone A secure. Zone B lost. Huh. Enemy captured Zone B. Zone C neutralized. Zone C secure. Zone A lost. Heavy ammo inbound. Enemy captured zone A. Zone B neutralized. Heavy ammo available. <laughs> More efforts like that and we might just win this.